Oh no. No, no. 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 Not in my house. Not, not in my house. I said no. Okay, so I'll be brief with this video because the two Angry Birds games are on almost every platform. Seriously now. They are on almost every mainstream platform. And aside of the controls, there's no difference between the games. So I'll tell you only about the controls this time. On the Wii, the controls are okay. They are similar to what you get on PC, but instead of controlling the cursor with a mouse, your hand movement does the job. For the most part, it's okay. But your hands will get tired if you play for extended periods of time, and sometimes the Wii modes have mishaps and don't read the movements right. But for the most part, the controls were responsive. So there you have it. I won't bore you with more details because I don't think they're needed. If you want to know about the content, in the first game you get the trilogy, meaning the original game, Rio and Seasons. So around 260 levels. And in Star Wars you get around 80 Star Wars themed levels. Oh, and I have to mention something. That even though Star Wars has less levels, it has multiplayer, which Trilogy doesn't have. And the local co-op multiplayer in Star Wars is okay, you get two modes. Cooperative, where the two players work as a team, and Score Attack, where the two players compete for the highest score. 